out cruising the bay. It's a little bit windy. Well, a lot of it windy. Uh, it wasn't this windy at my house. I didn't think it was going to be this bad here, but here we are. We're going to head up and into a back river here. Kind of tuck out of the wind. And see if we can find some trout and some puppy drum on the old Cash 130. Got the new fish finder installed. It's working well. Cruising some shallow water here, trying to be careful with this drive system. Just because I don't want to be that guy paddling back in the wind. Not my forte. Not my forte at all. But I'm gonna get out of the wind. Hopefully hook into some fish. Hope y'all enjoy what you're watching. I'm getting wet. Son of a. Thanks for sticking around. Stay tuned. Here's a quick shot of that fish finder in action. Um, I'm paddling pretty good. And I thought I was gonna dislike the vibration in it. And the only vibration is my hand trying to keep focused on the screen. Um, there might be a little tiny bit of movement. But for the most part, the water pressure um, is keeping it the arm pretty steady. And I have her top down so that she's below the surface of the boat right now. But I'm impressed. I'm happy. I'm going to get out of here and try and find trout, some puppies. They're just biting. We've got some jig heads, some gulps. Zoom flukes. I'm gonna try it all. See how she goes. So it's super windy, and I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but I'm cruising. I have, oh, there it is. The transducer mount is down in the water, and with the wind and the waves, um, it's nothing major, but it's it's kind of peeing on me a little bit, just from. The motion of the boat, the waves hitting that arm. There's a little bit of spray from it, but nothing horrible. It's definitely something I can deal with. So that's one thing to look out for. On windier days, you are gonna get slightly sprayed by this thing. So it's a little windy. I put the put the old yak on the bank here doing some bank fishing bank fishing from the kayak chasing some trout and some puppies the old pop and cork see what we can get into here oh that cast like a real turd that was bad this line's only a year old or two years old here here fishy you gotta call them in. Here, yeah, fish, fishy, fishy. Man, I freaking used my wife's shampoo last night and it's some coconut shit. Bugs are just killing it. They think I'm a giant walking coconut. Oh, there he is. That's a good one, too. Come to Papa. Easy. Easy. Red. Oh, get off the rocks. Get off the rocks. Get the reds. It would be nice if the fat trout. No, a red. Yeah, it's a red. Okay. Damn, that's a pretty that's fish. A pretty one. Oh, man. Damn, it's like 16, 17. 
<laughs> Look at that. She want a measure? Oh, I do have a measure somewhere. 17 and a half. No. Little pup. There he is. Look at the tail. Look at the blue on that. Pretty fish. He's gone. Well. We're down on the water, tested the fish finder, got to fish a little bit, did some bank fishing. The wind was blowing pretty bad, so I dry docked the kayak on the bank, hooked into two nice reds, keeper 18, and then a little short puppy. They both went back. Um, overall, fish finder is great, the bracket's great. And I'm currently running from the rain because they kept pushing it back and pushing it back. Well, it's not being pushed back anymore and it's on top of me. And I got a mile and a half to go. So I'm probably gonna get soaking wet and I'm in my jeans and my cowboy boots. So kudos to the intelligent decision that I made today, but it was fun. Hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Like always, do the thumbs up, subscribe, hold the deal. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.